Okay, so try this question, x squared minus 7x equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation because, of course, it has a power of 2. And we have an equal sign, so it's an equation. So the difference here, though, it's not one of our quadratic trinomial types, okay? Normally with the trinomial type, we have three terms, okay? But still, we have two methods. We can use the minus b formula or we can factorize, okay? The difference with the factorizing, of course, is it's not the quadratic trinomial type, in which case it might be one of the other types. So your other types of factorizing, remember, type 1 is common terms, type 2 is grouped common terms, type 3 is difference of two squares, and type 4 is your trinomial quadratic. So be careful here, it's not the quadratic trinomial type, so it must be one of the other types for factorizing. Okay, press pause if you feel confident with this. Otherwise, listen up. Okay, so with the minus b formula here, list out your a, b, and c. And in this case, your a is the coefficient of x squared. Now, there's no number here, which implies it must be 1. Okay, it's a 1x squared. So a is 1, and b is the coefficient of x, and the coefficient of x in this case is minus 7. And C is always the last number. Now, there's no last number here, which implies that C is 0. Okay? So, using the minus B formula, we have X equals minus, B, of course, is minus 7, keep brackets around it, plus or minus the square root of B squared, which is minus 7 squared, so brackets around it again, minus 4, uh, A is 1, put brackets around it, and C is 0, and again, put brackets around it, all over 2 times A, which is 2 times 1, okay? So as before, we're going to do this bit in the root first on the calculator. So we have X is equal to minus minus 7, remember minus Taking away a negative is like adding, so that's the same as adding 7, plus or minus the square root of, and now in the root, what's highlighted in green, I'm going to put on the calculator. So bracket, minus 7, plus the bracket squared, minus 4, bracket 1, bracket, and open the bracket again, 0 equals, and the answer is 49, all over 2 times 1 is 2. So now, what I'm going to do on the calculator is I'm going to open up my fraction, Put in 7, uh, we'll do the plus first, plus square root 49 over 2, and the answer is 7. Or, come back up here now, and put in the minus 0. So x equals 7, or x equals 0. Okay, so factorizing. So, we've already established it is not type 4 factorizing, where you have a quadratic trinomial. So is it common terms, grouped common terms, or difference of two squares? And the answer is, it is common terms. I can pull out the common terms here. So we'll pull out the x, open up your bracket, what would you multiply to x to get x squared? The answer is x. What would you multiply to x to get minus 7x? And the answer is minus 7 equals 0. Now you have two things that multiply to make zero. So either this is zero or this is zero. So this is even more straightforward than before. Either this bit here, the x is zero, or the x minus seven is zero. So that's solved for you already, and we got that of course over here. And then this equation is very easy to finish off. Add 7 to both sides, and of course we get x is equal to 7. So the answer is x equals 0 or x equals 7.